Hello friends and welcome, this is Deborah, and I'm so glad you stopped by to see what's new here on Cottage to Courtyard today. As you can see by the thumbnail photo, I'll be showing you several things, so I hope you'll stick around and see what it's all about. So let's get started. First, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Joyce, one of my wonderful subscribers, for blessing me with a beautiful gift of this blue and cream toile fabric. Joyce, that was so incredibly sweet and generous of you. Thank you, my friend, and I can't wait to show you what I'm doing with it. In the next photo coming up, I'm showing you all the fabric name and manufacturer up, up at the top in case any of you are interested. And now I want to show you the first item that I used the fabric on. This was a photo that I showed you all in one of my past videos recently where I added the black and cream toile fabric to the thrifted window frame that you're seeing there. And at that time, I stated that I'd be on the lookout for some blue and cream toile fabric to go on it, and that's where Joyce came in. She heard me and sent me that wonderful gift. So now I'm gonna show you all how it looks on the window frame, but first I decided to try it with the window turned sideways for a different look, and here it is. And doesn't it look cute with all the copper molds on it? I toyed with the idea of placing it above the sink like this or even above my stove, but ultimately it ended up back at the kitchen sink like this. The next thing I did was switch the other black and cream toile fabric to the blue and cream toile fabric on my cubby shelf here at our coffee station and I love it. Okay guys, so I wanted to add a few touches of the fabric in my living room, so Hubs and I added the blue and cream toile to the armoire doors just behind the chicken wire and we both love the way it looks and as i'm showing you all how i've added touches of this gorgeous fabric in different ways to different areas this definitely shows how small changes do equal big impact and for not a lot of effort or cost Okay friends, here's the last thing I've done so far with the fabric. I purchased a plain charger plate at Goodwill for 99 cents because you cannot find twall charger plates anywhere. So what I did was Mod Podge it on and voila, look how pretty it is and it was so easy. And check this out and how gorgeous it is in a place setting. So now here's a little design 101 on mixing fabric, prints, patterns, and colors, which are complementary to each other. I'm going to make a pillow or two with the leftover toile fabric, but I wanted to inject a little kiss of autumn color on them. So I purchased this rust plaid fabric at Hobby Lobby to use as a companion print, and I'll show you all the pillows when I get them finished. In the meantime, looky here, y'all. How gorgeous are these things together? There's three different patterns here, but they're beautifully coordinated by color, pattern, and scale. This, to me, says autumn bliss without nary a pumpkin included. I could easily extrapolate an entire room design around this gorgeous grouping of things. What do you all think? guys moving on let's get into the DIY part of this video that takes it from trash to treasure I had been wanting some tall and narrow terracotta pots to make some topiaries with but finding them at a decent price was not so easy however I persevered and found two terracotta wine coolers of all things for two dollars and ninety nine cents each at the Goodwill and knew they'd be perfect for my vision and project you all know how I am. I like my pots to be pretty. So I got out my stencils and you'll see how I use them in a moment. I also used ready mix cement patch mixed with a bit of paint to achieve the look. And here's how they look so far with the Florida leaves on them. And then I'll be adding the number five to the bottoms as you'll see in just a moment. After they had dried completely, I lightly whitewashed the pots 
with some white paint and then I mixed up some cement patch and moss green paint to add faux moss to the pots and then I misted them with water so the paint would run and feather out. And the last step that I did was lightly and strategically dab burnt umber paint on the moss to give it an appearance of dirt for an earthy and natural look. My friends, let's get into the making of these topiaries. I purchased two of each of these greenery stems at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. The long one is for the trunk of the topiary and the greenery bush is for the top of the topiary. Then I cut off 11 inches from the long stem to get the desired height I wanted for my topiaries. Also, there was no hot gluing required whatsoever. You just tuck the small greenery stem into the tendrils of the trunk and it holds it in perfectly in place. You'll see in just a moment. And here's how everything looks together at my kitchen sink area. The finished size of the topiaries is 29 inches tall and I love how they look. One last thing before we go, see the area above the window frame and by the light there, that's about to get on my last nerve. I have a little something in mind I'm gonna do and that will also be one of those small changes equal big impact things that I love to do and share with you all. So you'll have to come back next week and see what I'm doing. All right, sweet friends, with that said, this concludes our video for today and I hope you enjoyed it and were inspired in some way. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I'll be back on Friday for more fun decorating here on Cottage to Courtyard. So until then, you all take care. Bye-bye, my lovelies.